Yo guys, RBGTV, um, real quick, rocking the 43X with the factory 10 round mag. Don't have the shield arms in it today. Uh, want to talk about two things real quick. Real quick, on this with these metal mag releases, people will say that these will tear up your factory Glock mags. Well, they make billet aluminums for the Glock 19s, and it's just shit people make up. It's just retarded. So, I can't listen to them about that. But this video is about uh, rendering aid in a self-defense shooting. So if you shoot somebody, what should you do? You should get out of the situation. Where, if you can't verbally talk somebody down into where it comes to where you have to use a gun, get out of the situation. Now, if you're in a gas station, bank, store, or whatever, somebody comes in and pronounces a robbery, and you react on that, you shoot them and they fall. Render aid, if you know how. Some people are just down on the look. I don't recommend rendering aid if you're in a situation where you're firing shots, okay? But I do recommend if you shoot somebody like somebody's carjacking somebody you shoot them they're done threat stopped and they're begging for their life yeah render aid um what i would never render aid on is an active shooter i would uh i have opinion about active shooters um you know uh the company i used to work for you know can't can't say the name offhand but uh we had a active shooter scare um where they locked us all in the office with fucking 20 people you know what i mean because somebody threatened to shoot up shoot up a business i used to work for um at that point i was carrying um I immediately let my supervisor know that I was carrying a firearm and uh and uh, I would like to stand by the door. Um the only entrance into the building, the first entrance and the back entrance. Um because I was going to engage the threat if it was a possibility. Okay. Um what I the talking to that I got was Hey, you're not supposed to have a gun here. Good job, though. Thank you. Um, a lot of, a lot of people did not know that I carried a gun. Um, that was a, a M&P shield, by the way, guys. Um, not a lot of people knew I had a gun. Um, obviously, if you're a good guy, you want to carry concealed. So. That happened. I didn't get fired for it. Didn't get written up for it. I did get a little talking to, but it did. If I ever engage with an active shooter, I'm going to kill them. There's no second regrets or anything. It's just simple as I'm going to shoot until my gun is empty and I hope their life ends. I don't give a shit. Like... I can't respect somebody that shoots kids. I can't respect somebody that loses a job, that comes into a job with a fucking gun and shoots a bunch of innocent people that are just there to make sure their family are good. I keep my gun with me. My 43 goes with me. You know, it's one of them things that if I could carry a full-size Glock 19, Glock 17, I would, but thanks to Shield Arms, I can get 15 plus one in this. I do have the factory mag, but as you guys can see, I do have the upgrade for it. I have the factory mag in it right now because I, I, I like the factory mag. I don't know. Uh, Shield Arms is a good company, but I, I will always go with factory. I like factory. Um, 
But, yeah, that's my true opinion, guys. Like, I wouldn't render aid to an active shooter. I wouldn't render aid to somebody that was trying to assault me or my family. I wouldn't render aid to a guy beating up a woman. I wouldn't render aid to a lot of things. But there's some stuff, some circumstances that I would render aid to. Also, too, when I say this, you have to have the mindset to walk away from everybody. Like if somebody calls you a bitch, somebody calls you a piece of shit, they're just words. When they get in your bubble, that's when you act as a self-defender. Like, you, somebody says you're a bitch, you can't pull your gun out and be like, yeah, bang, bang. You're going to jail, bro. It don't work that way, honestly. Somebody calls you a bitch, you're like, oh, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? I ain't worried about it because at the end of the day, if a motherfucker catches me outside at work and rushes me, they gonna burn. They gonna feel the burn. I mean, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm not finna sit there and fucking, well, I'm not gonna sit there and wrestle with somebody. I'm not gonna sit there and fight with somebody who wanna have a gun on me. It's not, it's not gonna happen that way whatsoever. So, this is a short video on what I render aid in a self-defense shooting. The answer is, in some circumstances, yes. Most of the circumstances, absolutely not. Fuck them. Honestly, if I'm plugging you, it's for a good reason. So, you're one of them humans that ain't value to the earth no more. So, it does not matter. It does not matter to me whatsoever. So, thank you for watching RBG TV. God bless. Stay ready for the fight. Keep your three threes with you and be ready. Don't forget to drop a like too.